In this video, we're going to be using Ariane and Evans Apricity and the Carbon CXTI with the plus plate. Stay tuned. Hey there, folks, and welcome back for another video. I'm your host, CDB, and thanks so much for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Before we get into the content today, I remind you this video is brought to you in part by our sponsor, Leaf. I'll pop up the leaf and the twig right there. If you'd like 5% off your order at Leaf, use discount code IMCDB right there and save yourself some money while shopping at Leaf. Okay, folks, we have a great video for you today. I'm going to start it a little bit out of order because I have a bit of a story to tell. Now, this bottle right here is a new bottle from Ariana and Evans. It is a temporary bottle. This is not what Pete intended to use, but he could not get his normal bottles. Now, I actually like the bottle a lot, and I prefer this bottle because it stacks nicely next to other bottles. I prefer this bottle. hope Pete will consider keeping it. But the, I don't know if you want to call that a restrictor, but I'm telling you right now, folks, you have to be careful with this because if you pour this like you would a normal aftershave with a good restrictor, you will lose a lot of product. And I had my first experience with that type of restrictor maybe four and a half years ago. So let's take a trip back in time to our old eyelather channel and I'll show you what happened. Here you go. See. Oh Lord. Well, I don't know if you can see that, but this thing has a terrible restrict. That is rubbish. That's absolute. That's a poor job. Very poor job. L and L. Um, I got, uh, I poured out I don't know, a good bit of the bottle there because of that terrible restrictor there. Very, very poor job. Um, do not put that sort of, restrictor on bottles. Now, I guess maybe some of that is on me. I probably should have checked, um, you know, but that thing is just too, when I poured it, you know, it was up to the neck practically before I started and I poured that much out and it went in the sink and all over the floor. That's a poor job. Do not produce, and this is advice to um, soap makers, and people who make aftershaves, get a decent restrictor. That does not cut it. That doesn't do anything. It might as well be wide open. That's, that's poor. And as you can see there, I did not enjoy that restrictor at all. I called it rubbish. It is rubbish. Trust me, folks. This, you will lose a lot of the bottle if you're not very careful in your pour. And that's why I wanted to put it at the beginning of the video to let you know, be very careful. Otherwise, you'll pour a quarter of the bottle out like I did <laughs> years ago. And you probably also saw why I shaved the hair and uh, grew the bald kit there. So there you go. There's a trip down memory lane. All right, as to the soap, it is Ariana and Evans Apricity. I'm showing you the production label because I got a tester of this, which is what I'm using today. Amazing scent. Let's put the scent notes for you on the screen right there. I like it a lot. Apricot, blood orange, cardamom, tonka, patchouli, just a few of the notes. It's really beautiful. It's sweet, but not too sweet quite robust, medium high on scent strength, I would call it. The formula on this one is the Kaizen K2E, and we'll put the ingredients for you on the screen right there. Now, this one includes the emu oil. We'll talk about that a little bit uh, during the shave. Unfortunately, that ingredient puts the soap into the pricey range. It puts it over $5 an ounce, even if you're in the club. And if you're not in the club, it's even more pricey than that. So I'm not a big fan of that, honestly. I could do without the emu oil um, and lower that cost. Uh, now that said, the base is a little more firm, so you don't have to use as much. So the value is a little better with that firm base, but I don't like the over $5 an ounce cost. Uh, A&E has really worked hard to keep those costs down and now they're starting to creep up. And even Pete said on Real Talk, the last Real Talk, he wasn't a big fan of that cost either, but it is what it is. Uh, let me go ahead and roll you in a pick of the lather. It lathered beautifully. I'll show you a picture of the lather in the bowl there. Here you go. And all right, excellent lather. So we don't expect any problems today with the A&E Apricity. Beautiful scent, beautiful soap. The razor for today is the Carbon CXTI, which means titanium. And the gap on this one is 0.88 millimeters. I have the plus, excuse me, easy for you to say, plate on this razor. And I absolutely love carbon razors. They are fantastic. I love this handle too. I know some people don't. It's long for my normal preference, but because it's tapered, it's really nice. And uh, I really like this razor a lot. So we look forward to having a great shave. Today, we certainly got great products to do it with. We're going to start off by misting the face there and just get right into it. The brush for today is the 
Ariana Nevin's synthetic brush. And I know people have commented in videos before that they wish he would bring these brushes back. I don't know if Pete intends to, but we'll see. No problems with the lather. Now, as to the as to the K2E, because of that emu oil, which is quite expensive, it's now bumped that price up to over. It used to be under $5 an ounce, if you remember the club. Now it's over $5 an ounce. That, to me, honestly, I'd rather have, if, if emu oil has to put the soap in the pricey range, I would rather just have the Kaizen formula, the regular Kaizen, not even Kaizen 2. You know, um, what I wish, and Pete, if you're listening, uh, and I hope you're watching, you, you know Pete has the Pedro Fiasco soap now, which is the sort of budget line, the, the most price effective. But I, what I would like to see Pete do is have this, maybe have this K2E for the people who really want the skin food and the super blue emu and the dragon tallow and the unicorn milk and all that. For the people who want that, have your five plus dollars an ounce soap for those folks who want to do that. I would prefer just to have the regular uh, Kaizen formula is like that mid-grade um, sub $5 an ounce. And, and that's what I would buy all the time because I don't need the additional skin conditioning. My, my face will feel the same every day because I use post shave products regardless of what I use. And so I don't need these extra skin foods. It's just not about anything that I need nor want, to be honest. Uh, it is a very good formula and it uh, lathers well. I'm most interested in a well lathering soap because I'm going to handle my post shave needs in the post. So for me, I'd like to see Kaizen, either K or K2 remain it's sort of that middle tier option for folks who want it. So I would buy, so I would buy Apricity if it were available in Kaizen, I would buy it in Kaizen rather than K2E just because I don't need all this extra skin food. Some people really like that. Man, what a nice shaver this carbon razor i was taken by how nice that feels smooth as silk very nice so pete if you're listening give me kaizen is that mid-tier uh and then and then k2e for the folks who really want all the skin foods and all that i would love that and then you have your Pedro fiasco for folks who really want the most budget effective soap but honestly the soaps are so good today, and particularly A&E, that 2E for me is just not necessary. Um, and I would rather pay a little bit less and get the Kaizen, which is phenomenal. Because you can't tell me now that, that Kaizen is old and busted because K2E is out. Now, I know a lot of guys that are, you know, big fans of, of bases will want K2 all the time now, but I'm just not one of those people. I don't need it. I don't need to spend the extra money. Um, it's just not anything that does anything for me. But Pete always likes to focus on that post shave, which is an attribute that I don't care a lot about in terms of a shaving soap. I want it to lather well. I want it to be a good value. And then I'm going to, I'm going to handle my post shave needs in the post. That's why we buy post-shave products. This aftershave, for example, has skin conditioning stuff in it. And so that, you know, I'm going to address my post in the post. And for me, that is the most effective way to address your post-shave needs. Other people will disagree, but Pete, I'm just speaking from my own perspective. Um, and if anyone uh, is watching this video today, and you would like to see like Kaizen hang around as that mid-tier, Please comment below and let Pete know because not everybody wants to spend more than $5 an ounce for soap. I don't. I really don't. Um, and I know Pete struggles with that. He said so in Real Talk. I hate that it costs so much, but the emu oil costs more. So what I don't want to see is a trend in this hobby where we keep adding one ingredient and the cost goes up and up and up. And then the bar for cost is well over $5 an ounce. I just... For me personally, I don't want to see that. And so um, I would rather just go with Kaizen or Kaizen 2. Pay a little bit less. I don't want to... The one thing about it is I do like some of the skin foods and butters, but I don't need it to be chocked full of every single super elixir. You know, so I don't necessarily want to go all the way down to Pedro Fiasco, although I like Pedro Fiasco. 
but I don't want to, I don't want to spend five plus dollars an ounce for K2E either. <laughs> so I would like that. I always said before, if Pete was still making his goat's milk base as the budget base, I would buy that every single time because it was good. You know, it really is a testament to how good these soaps are, to tell you the truth. It's not a knock on the K2E here because it is fantastic. I mean, it is easy to work with. It's really good. But it's just that I am very, um, I try to pay attention to what things cost and understanding that there's a lot of folks out there that they want the best product they can get for the money. And I think, a, um, I think a Kaizen or Kaizen 2 sub, uh, $5 an ounce for some dollars $4 and something an ounce. I think that would be perfect. I think that's a very fair price for an outstanding soap. But you can't tell me, it's only been like, what, a year and a half since Kaizen was out. And you can't tell me Kaizen is obsolete now. It's not. It's still great. Is this better? Maybe. Some people feel it is strongly. But for my use case, I just don't need it. Um, I do like it, but I don't need it. <laughs> Oh man, that is nice. Super slick, super easy to lather. It can take lots of water. Water, And that's a sort of a hallmark or a trademark or a, a quality, I should say, of, um, of Pete's soaps. They tend to take water rather easily. But I hope Pete will hear me on this one. And I know it'll probably get on his nerves. I always get on his nerves. Yeah. <laughs> so nothing new. Um, I, I think there are a lot of people out there like me that just want um, a really good base to be had at a really good price. Because we're going to be buying lots of them, you know. So if you're only buying a few, when the soaps are a little more expensive, it's not too bad. But if you're buying lots, you know, you, you would like to get the, the best value you can get out of them. And like I said, I like the idea of Pedro Fiasco, but I still want my soap in the tub. I do want, like, I want the goat's milk, and I want a little bit of that stuff in there that makes the lather very, very creamy. But I don't necessarily need the super blue emu and the dragon tallow and the unicorn milk. And so hopefully that makes sense to, you, sense to you folks. Haven't talked much about the razor today. It is really awesome. I love it. It is an expensive razor, but it's one of those razors that I, I'm... I feel good about, you know, having purchased it, even though it's pricey. Um, it just, I enjoy it. And there's a certain amount of enjoyment you get out of it. You know, looking at it, holding it, feeling the quality. And I think those things, sometimes people don't consider. Because you can get a, you can use a Merker 34C or even an R41 or something like that and get a perfect shave. They'll shave you as good as just about any razor if you're skilled enough at shaving. But... When you hold onto a razor like this that's well made and well crafted, it's just like anything else. Like when you when you have a really nice granite countertop or something, you just appreciate it. Like you can get by with a countertop that that's very basic and has linoleum not linoleum, but some cheap, you know, material on top of the counter. It'll work just fine. It works, you know, all the time. But when you get that nice granite, there's just something nice. You just feel good about it. And you put things on it and you use it. And it's the same thing with these razors. The enjoyment that you get out of a finely crafted piece, like a, even a pipe. You know how some people, old school smoking pipe. There's some really nice ones out there. People just enjoy it. Knives, I mean, you name it. You can buy a very inexpensive knife and it works perfectly and will last you a lifetime or you can buy something a little nicer and uh, sometimes that just gives you a little more pleasure and some some people don't understand that at all and some people do my video is running a little long today so we're going to try to speed it up we might overshoot our time on this a little bit but that's okay today it's just one of those that went a, bit, a little bit long because we, we were trying to sort of crack the case on this k2e now I'm sure the members in the club, a lot of them will disagree with me. That's okay. But you know me, you know, I'm friends with Pete. He is a friend, but I never hesitate to say exactly what's on my mind. 
and let him know. Here's what I would like to see, Pete. Doesn't mean I'm right. These are just my feelings, but man, this is definitely a good base. There's no question about it. Definitely one of those top of the rung. But Kaizen and Kaizen 2 are also. And so you've got three bases within under two years that are all fantastic. And so I would just love to see Kaizen, regular Kaizen, as a lower cost offering. Um, that would make me happy. Maybe not everyone else because the guys in the club will ask for the same thing that's been made over and over in the newest base. You know, some. <laughs> so... They're just fans, and that's, you know, that's the way fans are. And I'm a fan too, but I don't always need the latest bass. It's just not that important to me. I want a good quality bass, and I want it to be, I want it to come at a good price. And so those are my feelings. And again, I know people will disagree, but just because something is new, you know, the latest and greatest, um, it doesn't mean it's always the best fit for me, maybe for you. That's okay. All right. All right, indeed. Wow. Beautiful scent on this soap, man. This is a winner. The scent on this is just fantastic. And the quality is fantastic, too. It really is a great soap. Um, I like it a lot. All right. Let me rinse. We'll come back and get into the post. Stay tuned. And all right, we are back on off cam. We did a warm water rinse to remove the soap, and then we applied our PAA alum. There was no sting there, so super smooth shave. No nicks, cuts, creepers, weepers, irritation, bubbles, or troubles. Excellent shave. I really enjoyed it. Following the alum, we did a cool water rinse and then toweled off with our Lancaster towel prior to applying the magic made by witches, Thayer's Witch Hazel cucumber, which I love. Had an excellent shave today with Ariana and Evans Apricity. It is a phenomenal soap. The Kaizen 2 E-Base is absolutely phenomenal, as is the Kaizen 2 and Kaizen and even the previous formula. So whichever you choose, it's really, really good. The scent, fantastic. Everything about it is good, except for now, this is over $5 an ounce, which I just don't like personally. Um, I, I would love to have it under that $5 an ounce left. Just, just me. Um, giving my thoughts on that. The razor today was the Carbon. This is the CXTI titanium razor. Absolutely fantastic. The plus plate, I just love it. It is a fantastically efficient and smooth razor. Phenomenal. Loved it. Of course, we used our Ariane and Evans brush and the Lancaster Razor Works brush soaking mug or Captain's Choice bowl. And we will finish it off today with any apricity. This is a beautiful scent. It is quite stout as well. So folks, be careful. And I recommend pour this from the back of the bottle like that and just be very careful with that uh, janky restrictor because it is, oh, see? Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you this, but that is way, way, way more than I wanted to pour. Even knowing it, I still messed it up. <laughs> so there you have it. I still ended up pouring way more than I have to. This thing is terrible. The restrictor on this is just, it's absolutely rubbish. Uh, look, I love Pete, and he has put the word out in the club on this, but that's terrible. It's just, it's not good at all. <laughs> so I share that my feelings haven't changed. It doesn't matter who the artisan is. If it's bad, it's bad, and that restrictor is bad, all right? Thanks, folks, for watching. I really appreciate it. Till next time, I've been your host, CDB, reminding you, it's your shave, do it your way, and as always, God bless.